Slow cookers are a kitchen staple these days for all the right reasons. It is stress-free cooking at its best. They are great for making dinner and even cocktails, did you know? To show us how to make slow cooker dinner and drink recipes that will keep us warm and toasty and happy this winter season, we are joined by Daniel Vance. And Daniel, nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Lindsay. Uh, okay, before we get to the recipes, I want to remind everybody watching that we do have that QR code. You can see it. Wait, am I going to get this right? Whoop, whoop. Right there in the corner of your screen, you can scan for the recipe. Okay, so Daniel, thank you for the help. First up, a healthy beef stew recipe. Show us how to make it. Absolutely. So the big comment I always get about slow cookers is it all tastes the same. Now, if you take an extra five minutes, I'm going to tell you how to make an incredible beef stew in your slow cooker. It starts by actually taking your beef cubes that you would normally use. And instead of just throwing them in, I'm going to take an extra five minutes. I'm going to put a pan on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just seal this meat. I'm going to get it some color and some caramelization on it. So that's going to enhance the flavor of this meat before we even get going. And it only takes about five minutes. Now what I'm going to do with that beef is I'm going to put it into my slow cooker. Now, after that, that whole pan, people are going to be like, but now I have an extra dish. You actually won't because we're going to have a liquid and we're mm. going to do what we call deglazing a pan. I'm going to put a little water in that pan and I'm going to scrub all the bits off and I'm adding even more flavor to my liquid then. So I'm just injecting flavor into this and I'm actually doing my dishes at the same time. That's smart. Now, we all know stews need vegetables. It's really, really important. That's what makes it nice and hearty. So I have some garlic, some potatoes, some celery and some carrots. I put all that in and I'm just gonna drop it into my slow cooker, sort of, you know, no particular order to it, just get it all in. And then we have our spice mix. Now again, to add that flavor, what I'm gonna make sure I do, I'm not just gonna dump it and go, I'm gonna sprinkle it over and then I'm gonna give it a good stir to make sure that my spices are coated everywhere on this, uh, on all the meat and all the vegetables. The spice mix is roasted garlic, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, and my little secret ingredient for stew is something called Herbe de Provence. So it's a mix of different spices uh, and different herbs, which is wonderful. Mm. And all you're gonna do is take that liquid now that I have, so a bit of my deglazing, I have some dark stout beer and some beef stock. It comes up to two cups total, that's all you need in a slow cooker. And I'm just gonna pour it off and then guess what? I go to work, I put this on low, I let it go, I come home, my house is gonna smell amazing. Oh. Your house, if you do this, is gonna smell amazing. Low and go, right? And, and then how long are you doing this for, Daniel? So this is gonna go for eight hours. And then again, a lot of people say slow cookers are so liquidy. I don't know if you've run into that problem, but mm. I, I even got that before. So you're gonna add a bit of butter and flour, two mm. tablespoons of each, and you're gonna pour it in at the end of the eight hours, give it a stir, and put it on high for 20 minutes. And what that oh. does is it's gonna thicken up so you get that nice stew consistency. And then you pull yeah. it out and look at this, you just okay. have this beautiful oh. stew that you're gonna have over here. And good. what I'm gonna do, yeah. inject some flavor again so it tastes a bit different, it tastes fresh. We need acid. So we can use lemon, we can use red wine vinegar. I'm gonna give it a little spritz over top, mm. add a little bit of fresh parsley, and this is just good Perfect. to go, it's amazing. Perfect, that looks delicious. Okay, I do wanna get to this apple cider that you make mm -hmm. in the slow cooker, yeah, how does that work? So this is super easy, I don't know about you, sorry, I got a little spill over here, I'll clean that up later. But <laughs> I have some apples over here, um, and we all have them with my kids, there's a million of them, and then I have yeah. like 10 left. So what I do, I'm gonna cut these up, core them off, and I'm just gonna literally throw all of them in the slow cooker with some cinnamon, clove, allspice, close it, Eight cups of water on low. You come home, you have homemade apple cider. And what does You're it gonna smell like? What, describe that smell. Uh, apple, apple pie all over your house. It's amazing. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take my apple cider. I'm mm -hmm. going to get about two jars. I have an ice cube. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make a little cocktail quick, quick. So you give your kids the regular stuff, but for you <laughs> at home, if you're an adult and you need a little break, yes. little shot of whiskey. Okay. A little bit of apple cider. cinnamon stick and if you really want to make it look cool for your friends or anything you can take a torch you can light your cinnamon stick stop it what and what that's going to do is it's <laughs> going to add some smoke so you actually have a smoked cocktail which is really really quite cool and enhances the flavor 
That is elevation right there. Uh, I like how you're just uh, like us and you spill stuff on the counter and you just leave it till later. Absolutely. I am so <laughs> sorry about that. This is oh, how it goes, right? No, That's the way. No, but that is exactly how it rolls. Like cooking needs to be messy and then you clean it up and then you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. Daniel, always good to see you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Great to see you as well. Have a wonderful day. You too. To find these recipes, of course, just scan that QR code on the screen. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.